Greetings everyone and welcome to another Closer Look video. Today we're going to be checking out Scream Factory's wonderful franchise collection of The Fly. Yeah, this one contains the original trilogy of films from back in the 50s and early 60s, as well as the two remake films, the one by David Cronenberg and the sequel starring Eric Stoltz. So, very cool. Let's check it out. The Fly Collection. Help me! Help me! Today on the Multimedia Chronicles. <laughs> I uh, covered it all in spiders. <laughs> anyway, The Fly. Now, of course, I, like many others, I'm sure, had the climactic moment of the original of The Fly spoiled for me well in advance of ever having seen the film. You know, it's like, it's worked! I know it has! I know it's worked! Tears out the thing and giant fly head. It's like, ah! That wonderful see shot of just seeing the segmented vision of like fly vision, seeing her screaming, it's like so iconic. But um, yeah, so it wasn't until, you know, a number of years later, I think I saw the original on TV one afternoon or maybe my mom had it on tape or something. I don't remember. I just, I saw it, you know, when I was around 12-ish, I think, finally for the first time. And um, I thought it was great. I mean, I really liked the, the makeup effects for the fly and the, the sort of the the twist with the where the other half was you know and it's, i won't spoil that part for you but you probably know that one too um it, it was just such a wonderfully kind of dark and twisted kind of monster movie a bit of body horror going on you know it was it's great stuff and um I actually didn't know that there was two more films. <laughs> I knew there was one more. I didn't know there was a third one. So, yeah. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to checking those out. I still haven't seen them. So um, looking forward to rewatching the first one after so long and then finally seeing the, the sequels. And then, of course, years later, David Cronenberg did his wonderful take on it with Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis. Definitely latching on to the body horror aspect uh, that was touched on in the original and cranking it up to 11. Um, that one was so good. I mean, it, definitely an example of how to do a remake well. Um, it's become such a huge, iconic film of its own. Um, not even necessarily connecting it to the original, but just as its own thing. Um, it's so beloved and gave us that wonderful line, be afraid, be very afraid. Yeah, that's where it's from. But uh, yeah, and then uh, there was, of course, the sequel a few years later starring Eric Stoltz, uh, which I also still have not seen. So basically, I've seen the first movies of both the original trilogy and then the, the later duology. But, uh, but hey, now I've got them all, so I can watch them whenever I want. And uh, really looking forward to diving into this set and uh, reliving the ones that I have seen and seeing the ones that I haven't. So, without any further ado, let's head on down to the Black Table and take a closer look at the Fly Collection from Scream Factory. Okay, here we go. The Fly Collection, the complete saga of the Fly. Well, both sagas of the Fly from Scream Factory. Very, very nice box set got uh, wraparound artwork as seems to be the norm with a lot of these sets now goes all the way up and under a little bit now, as always if you had pre-ordered this collection from directly from Scream Factory you could actually get a poster of that artwork all unwrapped so you could enjoy the full image on your wall. Let's uh, take a quick look at that here. Yeah, look at that. Ugh. 
Love the artwork on these sets. They've been doing a really, really nice job on these. So, yeah. So if you'd pre-ordered from Scream Factory, you could have that on your wall right now. But, uh, yeah, alas, I did not. I got this from Amazon. I kind of waited a while for the price to drop a little bit because uh, it kind of went up and down a bit. Uh, this being another Fox license, I've been a little concerned about the future availability of it, so I didn't want to wait on the set for too much longer. Um, the reason I've been, cons been concerned about such things is, of course, because of the recent Disney acquisition of Fox. So who knows where all these sub-licenses are going to end up in the near future. So if you want to grab them, grab them while you can. So let's uh, slide all these bad boys out, and we'll uh, take a look here. Starting off with the wonderful full-color classic from 1958. Once upon a time, it was as human as you and... what I can't read upside down. It was human even as you and I. That's a little bit awkwardly worded. Anyway, <laughs> I actually can read upside down. That was just awkward. Anyway, there you go. So lots of goodies on there. I find it interesting. They hype up the fact that it's in color yet. All the pictures on the back are black and white. The poster art's black and white. Like, w would you not want to have just like a blazing Technicolor poster? I, I don't know. Anyway, so there we go. No reversible artwork in this one. But uh, I do have a lovely screenshot of the scientist in his lab with all the blinky lights and neon tubing, as every good scientist should have in his lap. And well, I guess this one was successful enough to warrant a sequel because the following year we got the return of the fly. Yeah, so successful enough to warrant a sequel but not quite successful enough to warrant also being in color. Yeah, the sequel is actually in beautiful black and white which uh, says to me they weren't wanting to shell out as much money for it. It's like, well, let's make this for less money, and then we'll get to keep more of the money. <laughs> um, oddly, much more colorful poster, though. So, yeah, go figure. And there we go. So, another lovely lab photo. Yes, not as much neon this time around. Such a shame. It's no wonder the experiment failed. I mean, clearly... You need more neon in order to do science stuff. In order to do science. That's good English speeching. And then finally, uh, 1965. So this is actually six years after the Return of the Fly. They decided, eh, let's try that again. But again, let's not give too much money to them. Yes, it's in black and white again. We have the Curse of the Fly. And there you go. And as I think I mentioned, I've actually never seen these sequels. I've only seen the original. So this will be a treat going in to see them for the first time. There we go. And oh dear, a damsel in distress in the lab again. Once again, sadly bereft of neon. Uh, crying shame. It's like these people just have no actual knowledge of science and the fact that you need lots of neon when you're doing mad scientist experiments like come on get with the program here people all right next up we have the absolutely brilliant reboot from david cronenberg starring jeff goldblum and gina davis origin of the saying be afraid be very afraid which has made it into the modern vernacular and just you know stayed forever and there we go this one I've seen quite a few times. Uh, just absolutely loved it. This takes body horror to a whole other level. It was kind of David Cronenberg's thing, so it was interesting that he decided to do his take on this classic horror story. Nope, that is not upside down. He's actually crawling on the ceiling. So, there you go. Although, technically speaking, they would have filmed it this way. Ooh, movie magic. <laughs> Yeah, really looking forward to seeing this one again. Um, I, I loved this film. Um, saw it when it was fairly new, I think. And, uh, of course, at the time, when would this have come out? This was 1986, so I would have seen it probably the following year on uh, on home video. It's 1987. And um, 
So uh, it would have made me 15, I guess. Yeah, 15. Still a pretty impressionable youth. And uh, But I mean, the, David Cronenberg's body horror is like body horror on a whole other level. It taps into like the primal terror of having your body messed with on in ways that other lesser directors just can't touch. So yeah, that one disturbed me good and proper and I loved every second of it. And then we have The Fly 2 with Eric Stoltz. Like father, like son. I heard this is actually a pretty decent sequel. I have never seen it. So this will be a real treat for me. Plus, I like Eric Stoltz. He's a great actor. Really good stuff. And actually quite a pile of extras on here, too. So yeah, this will definitely be a treat. There we go. I always thought the pod designs for the teleporter device were, were really cool in this. Just really good uh, production design. At least in the first one. I assume in the second one too. I, I've actually heard pretty good things about the second one. Um, I've heard that there are similarly disturbing scenes in the second one that will just, you know, mess with you good and proper. So I look forward to that. And finally, we have the backing sheet from the box. So this, of course, originally would have just been on the back of the box like that. Let's pull back a smidge. And, but then, of course, you take it off and reveal all this beautiful artwork underneath. So, yeah, so I just keep it in the case with the Blu-rays. Just put them all back in here. But yeah, as I've said uh, a few times now, I think I'm really loving the idea of these franchise collections where you can just get a whole franchise in one fell swoop like this. I mean, it's just wonderful. It's so convenient. And you have them all in one handy-dandy little box where you just kind of keep everything together. And uh, as always, very nice hard box, which I love. And there you go. So yeah, quite a nice set. Um, I mentioned this and I did my update video many moons ago, but I love that Scream Factory has been doing more and more of these complete franchise collections. You know, it's it's been great to see and it's just a wonderful way to get like a whole series of something in one fell swoop, you know, like a movie series. And it's until the past few years, we really hadn't seen that very often. I mean, sometimes you'd see like, you know, you might have a trilogy collection of the original trilogy, or you might have a double feature collection of the remakes. But it was very infrequent that you would see an entire franchise, including the remakes, all in one fell swoop in one handy-dandy box set. So, great stuff. Loving these collections. And uh, it's really helped me to fill some gaps in my collection really quickly, efficiently, and quite frankly, affordably. So usually not terribly expensive considering all the content you get. Alrighty, well that is it from me to you for now. Hope you enjoyed. Um, as always, I will include Amazon links in the description if you'd like to add this to your collection. Um, I don't know how much longer it's going to be in print or even if it still is in print by the time you're seeing this video. Um, but hopefully you can get a good deal on it because it really is a great set, uh, especially if you're a fan of these movies like I am. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to catch me on Twitch. I stream just about every day, and I will see you next time. Until then, thanks for watching, and sayonara.